Developing this morning, the manhunt for the parents of the teenage suspect in the deadly Michigan school shooting has ended. Police say James and Jennifer Crumbly were arrested early this morning in Detroit after hours of searching. The pair were declared fugitives after refusing to turn themselves into authorities yesterday. CBS 2's Anthony Pura reports. The parents of 15-year-old accused high school gunman Ethan Crumbly each face four counts of involuntary manslaughter. Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald announced the charges against James and Jennifer Crumbly. Any individual who had the opportunity to stop this tragedy should have done so. McDonald says on November 26th, James Crumbly brought his son with him to buy the gun. In a post online, his mom called it a Christmas present for her son. The day before Tuesday's shooting, a teacher reported Crumbly to school authorities after seeing him search ammunition on his phone. Thereafter, Jennifer Crumbly exchanged text messages about the incident with her son on that day, stating, quote, LOL, I'm not mad at you. You have to learn not to get caught. The next day, a teacher spotted drawings on the teenager's desk of a gun and blood with the words, the thoughts won't stop, help me. And there was a drawing of a bullet with blood everywhere written above. The notion that a parent could read those words and also know that their son had access to a deadly weapon that they gave him is unconscionable, and, it, and I think it's criminal. Crumbly's parents were called to the school, but did not ask about the whereabouts of the gun or tell the school they had recently bought it for him. Crumbly returned to class after his parents allegedly refused to take him home. Shortly after, when they heard about the rampage, his mother frantically texted the teen, Ethan, don't do it. By then, authorities say Crumbly had already walked out of a school bathroom and began shooting students in the hallway. Anthony Pura, CBS News. Police say the couple appeared distressed as they were arrested but were not armed and did not resist. They are expected to be arraigned later today.